Abangana Moan, Barla Ibaba, Nathan di Cameroun, Nana mi francophone, Nana mi anglophone, Papipa, Bafelfet, Bine Ayonda.
comes from the other side of Cameroon. It comes from the English-speaking tradition, which means that if anyone wants to imitate what the English people do, as far as PTA is concerned, that person has to go back and learn how we do it in West Cameroon. PTA is a voluntary association. If a school does not exist, PTA does not exist. PTA is not a lender. PTA is not supposed to lend money to a school. PTA helps the school and it's a partner to the school. If PTA comes to a school and goes to borrow money, in order that the school should pay back this money to the PTA, then the PTA is wrong. Secondly, when PTA took their money, did they see the minister? Did they consult the minister? How many PTAs am I supposed to follow to know how much money they took and how much is supposed to be returned? Why should a school leave academics that is supposed to follow, to be following monies that PTAs have taken. Honorable members of Senate, there are responsibilities that go with PTA and that go to the minister. And I want to say here that monies, monies borrowed are not paid back, or that projects designed are not fulfilled, that is not the responsibility of the minister. And I want to say here that I did say that PTAs should not take more than 25,000 francs per head. That is for a student. We have parents who have children in schools who cannot pay money. We have farmers who, until they have sold their crops, cannot pay money. Then we are going to deal with some schools whose PTAs will go and collect money from the bank. Tell me, how are we solving? parents' problems. President Paul Beer has talked about inclusion, inclusion in the schools. Tell me how many parents are going to take money from the bank. I don't believe that senators as you are, that you would not take into account the situation of all parents. You will be taking into account the situation of the few who have money to go and borrow and get taxes at whatever have you. I think there's something not correct. And we have said that all PTAs should toe the line. And so last year, as the Senator has truly outlined, I did say it, that the ceiling is 25. And if you have an ambitious project, which is a word that you've used here, an ambitious project, make it pluriannual. That is to say, you don't finish it in one year, so that you're going to punish a, uh, a poor parent to pay a certain <coughs> amount of money. We're well, doing pluriannual. So this year we're going to do this, this year we're going to do this, and that year we're going to do this. And everybody, I suppose, the honorable, the uh, senator knows that when you take the loans, there are conditions. And that when the key aspects of that loan changes, the loan is supposed to be revised. Therefore, you should revise your loan. Don't ask the minister to revise the loan for you. Or don't ask the minister what, is the, what are the measures that I have taken to ensure that these projects are finished. 
No, I have not taken any measures and I don't intend to. So we have to be very careful. I think I have a lot of respect for senators because I think that, especially for this year, we have a set of senators who are very alert and they know what they are doing. Let's not cause principals to go into loans which they cannot pay. For today, let me tell you that most of the schools in Africa are going towards a situation where there are no fees paid in schools. And that I'm going to your second question, second part of your question, which says that a special fund should be created to finance these projects. Which projects? With whom did you consult? Which are the projects? The projects are satisfying whom? No. Because if the head of state wants everybody to go to school, the head of state will not be saying that people should go and take loans in order to pay projects. I have told the schools that if you want money, you have to know how to organize and manage money and manage budgets. The budgets should be managed sensibly so that you know exactly that you can pay back a certain part of the budget without, without causing us problems. The PTA has caused us a lot of problems in the school. Most of them are fighting with the principals because they have turned the money into uh, a business plan. The principals are taking the money and making businesses. And so they cannot pay enough attention to the academics that they are supposed to pay. No. Let us help schools run correctly. And as I said, I don't think that the head of state's inclusive policy can even allow us to go and take special funds. We cannot take special funds. I mean, a sex budget for this year. In fact, it has reduced the running budget, which used to be about 10 billion, has reduced to 9 billion. If the state had money, it would do more. Because I know that it wants everybody's child to, to go to school, and we all do. So, Senator, I thank you very much for your question, but I think that you too have not gone far enough in looking for what the situation is. We are close to saying no, no fees, because we are paying 7500 for for going to school. 7500 where will that lead you? But that's how we are in our own environment. That's what we are capable of doing for this time. And so uh, my answer to the Honorable Senator says, uh, finally, should we not suggest you to ask us as the Senate to ask for a school, I mean, a what is a special fund for school infrastructure? I don't know about you, but I will say no. Ladies and gentlemen, sir, that's the answer. I have.